Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how you can automatically manage and segment your leads inside of BotPress. Let's do it. All right, so in this video, we're gonna be building a chat bot that can automatically capture your leads data on your website, and then based on their responses, segment those leads into different databases inside of BotPress so that you can easily and more efficiently manage your relationships with those leads based on their segment. All right, so without further ado, Let's hop right in. Okay, so in this example, I am running a sports agency and I want to manage and segment my leads based on their favorite sport. So if somebody's favorite sport is football, I wanna send them to a football sales rep. If their favorite sport is baseball, a different sales rep, etc. And I wanna store all of those segmented leads data in different tables that I can then use in my company to further nurture those leads. So how am I going to manage and segment my leads accordingly inside of BotPress? It's very simple. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add three different tables. My first one is going to be football. Okay, that'll be my football table where I store all of my football leads. All the people who love football as their favorite sport, their emails and their names, I will be storing in this table for my team, okay? So I'm gonna create a football data table. I'm going to add a column here. It'll just be name and email. Okay, we'll keep it simple here, but you can obviously collect as much data from your leads as you want with your chatbot. Um, so that is that. I'll create a second table doing the exact same thing. This one will be my baseball table. Again, I will collect name and email. And then finally, I will create a basketball table. Okay, and I will store all of my basketball favorite sporters here in this table, again, with a name and an email, okay? That's step number one. Now, step number two is I'm gonna come back to my workspace here. I'm just gonna create a standard node, and it's gonna be my welcome node, very standard. I'm gonna drag in some text. I'm gonna say, hello. And then I wanna start capturing their information. So I'm gonna drag in a raw input field here. I'm gonna say, hey, what is your name? And I'm gonna store that answer in a new variable I call name, okay? And then I wanna grab their email address, okay? So I'll ask them, hey, what is your email address? And I will store that in a variable called email, okay? So notice that name and email corresponds to the fields that we're collecting here in our tables, okay? So we now have that data from our lead then we're going to ask, okay, we're gonna give them a single choice option. And we're gonna say, what's your favorite sport? And we're gonna give them three options, three choices. The first one will be football. The second one will be baseball. And the third one will be basketball. And just like that, we have three different paths that we can take our user down when they're interacting with our chatbot. So we'll have a football node here. We will create a baseball node off our baseball single response. And likewise for our basketball response, we'll create a basketball node as well, okay? Now, what you can do here is you can get creative, but now based on their answer, they're going down three different paths of our chatbot workflow. So for example, we could do something like, all right, let's add a text card here and say, Cool, we love football too. Let me connect you with our football sales rep, Dion Sanders, okay? And we can, you know, we can have fun with this all we want. Now, to get this user's name and email into our football database so that we can create that segmented lead and start managing our leads in a more efficient manner, is we're gonna add another card and we're gonna drag in an insert record card right here to our football node, okay? And with that selected, we're gonna choose the table that we wanna insert a record into. And since this is our football path, we're gonna insert this leads data into our football table. And we're just gonna route our name variable, which we set up a couple minutes ago to our name field in our table and our email variable to our email field in our table, okay? So just like that, if somebody 
gives me their name, gives me their email, and their favorite sport is football. Well, perfect. We just created a record in our football lovers database. We have all their names and all their emails, and then we can start you know, managing relationships externally with that information. Okay, so with that made, again, we're just gonna rinse, wash, and repeat here. Baseball table. And then we're gonna route fields again, name and email. It's just that easy. Okay, we can add a card here if we wanted to. And then our basketball node will be the exact same thing. So we'll insert a record into our basketball table. We'll route name and we'll route email. Okay, I can add a couple cards here just to be consistent. Say, we will route you to our sales rep, Aaron Judge. And then last but not least, we will route you to our sales rep, LeBron James. Okay, so it's that simple, guys. Obviously, you can continue to build out your chatbot workflow and make it super complex. But for the sake of this video, just to show you how we can manage and segment our leads, this is looking good. So let's test this out and make sure that our tables are updating as we interact with our chatbot. So I'm just gonna type in hello. It says, hello, what is your name? I'll say Alex. It says, what's your email address? I'll say Alex at yahoo.com. Bunch of people make fun of me still for using Yahoo email. I have no idea why, I love it, it's very reliable. I'll hit enter and it says, okay, what's your favorite sport? I'll say football because that's obviously the right answer. It says, cool. We'll connect you with our sales rep, Dion Sanders. All right, so that is working. Let's make sure that my information is now in our football table and it looks like it is. All right, let's test out one more here. Let's just make sure that our baseball one is working. I'll say, hello. What's your name? I'll say, Nick. What's your email address? Nick at yahoo.com. And my favorite sport is baseball. Okay, perfect. We'll route you to Aaron Judge, so that's working. And then I'll come to my baseball table and I see that Nick and his email are in this table. So from here, I can export as a CSV. I can give this to other people in my team. I can run automated marketing campaigns to people on each of these lists. And so we have now created an automated way to segment and manage our leads and give them a more custom follow-up experience later on in the sales funnel. So that is it for today's video, guys. That is how you manage and segment your leads inside of BotPress. If you guys like this video, go down and smash that like button for me. Really appreciate it. If you have any questions for me, get down in the comments and let me know. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys so, so much for all of the support lately, and I'll see you all on next week's video. Peace.